Alrighty, so we switched over to Torgar's army now. Um, let me just set camp. Everyone's healed. That's good. So let's move to the uh, crossing of the Rubak. Following from the Middle Mountains, the Rubak is a vast flowing tribute to Telebak. On the southern bank, the Empire has drawn its first defense lines in the route to Telebime. So I did a bit of changing around with my volume. I increased the game volume a little bit and I lowered my gain on my microphone a little bit. Um, so I increased the game volume, lowered my microphone gain. Uh, let me know in the comments which one is better, this one or the previous settings. I just noticed that sometimes the game using is quite low and you could hear my buttons from my keyboard. So I hope that is minimized now. So in this battle we kind of want the same setup. So we have the Marauders, we have two Knight Divisions, we have two Axe Throwers and we have the Blood Letters. The Blood Letters are there to protect the, uh, the Throwers and these we have to charge and pincer and hit and run basically. Let's see, do we have any unspent points? Nope. Alright, let's uh, jump into it. A river assault can cost many lives as troops are bombarded by the enemy on the slow crossing of a forest or forced to gather close together to make use of the bridges and forts. Crossing the Rubak. I believe we had a similar level like that. Um, when we were fighting the Empire versus the Chaos units, uh, we could cross the bridge or we could cross the fort and take over the, uh, the left side of the mountain. It's actually one of the earlier missions, I believe that's chapter 1 or 2. So I kind of wonder if that's this same mission. I don't want to lose too many units, but I think we got a pretty decent setup. Let's see. That's the Fort Fjord crossing probably. I'm not, I'm not really sure. There's a a river, but I don't really see a river here. Or is this the river? We got a healing thing here. Alright, let me merge my heroes. So this guy can no longer be merged. Which makes him even worse than before. Um... You guys merge him, you guys merge with him. So I'll take all the calves that will be team two. I'll take Torgor and the Bloodletters that will be team one. The Extrowers will be team three. And then the Hellcannon will be four. I don't really feel like crossing here, especially since there's also a path going left. So I'm gonna go left for now. I don't need to run, guys. You can just walk. Don't waste your energy. Okay, guess they were waiting for us. Swordsman helps. Helps. Right, charge in with the cav. Decimate these guys. Yeah, these guys are getting decimated. I think they just blocked my charge. The giant eagle coming after us. It's 20 hit points, it's not like a hero. I remember I had a hit unit like that before as well. He's after my cannon, pretty sure. I 
I knew it. I think he's after my cannon. But he's taking massive damage from one of my range units hitting him. There we go. Destroy some of these tents. Why not? Where are you? Why are you not shooting yet? I don't know why my cannon doesn't want to fire. Nice, there was items in there. Okay, I'm just gonna move my cannon away just in case it wants to fire now all of a sudden. <clears throat> no, don't shoot. Alright, one, two, three, four, let's go. So there only is one way to cross, it seems, and that's this way. What was this good for then? I thought I could cross here as well. Another eagle. These guys are a bit annoying. Take down that eagle first. Start throwing a lot of axes. I can't tell its current HP, but I can... Well, I mean, not exactly. I have a bar here, but it doesn't tell me, like... This guy has 10 hit points left. There we go. Wait, they're coming after me now? We just got these repeater bolt thrower. I have more range with this thing, don't I? Nice, they're coming after me. I'm not sure about the range of that thing, but I most definitely can hit him. And he most definitely can hit me, unfortunately. Crap. That was a pretty good hit of him. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Right, charge cavalry with cavalry. He's gonna hit me, is he? He is. Come on, shoot him. I hope that destroys him. Perfect. You got another one. There's a lot of stuff going on here. What is that?
Need to watch out with this one. Come on, take their souls. Lots of units taking casualties here. We're still being attacked. What are these? They're archers, but they're not moving. Just trying to pick up these items, but it's not really going the way I want it. Got shadow warriors here to try to ambush us. Let's run these guys over with my cavalry. I want to try and see if I can soul steal, but I can't. They're pretty far away. Run them over. They're regrouping some handgunners. What was my exact mission? Uh, okay, Empire, the Empire camp was here, right? a few extra, I mean just a few units, you can extra them to death. Right, he's down. Got some silver, oh these are reavers, I thought they were silver helms. Charge him down. Those cavalry actually play quick as well, the uh, not the knights, but these things, the marauder horsemen. Prince. Okay. Are they still alive? They are still actually alive. Not for long, though. Let's run him down. Alright. That's the last bit. I actually want to go... See if I can go here. Oh, excuse me. So we can take out the camp first. Um, we do have a lot of gold. How many of these? Let me actually use this on my hero. How does that work? He has 35. Now he has 36. Alright, so it's permanent. These are for resurrecting. I have one of those. I have a lot of those. Oh, they're actually already attacking. Pretty sneaky bastards. Oh, he entered combat. Wasn't this my duelist? It was my duelist. Alright. Interesting. Oh, wh what? What was that? Hmm. 
You just crushed him with 15 damage. That's insane. He, he did so much damage. Still have to destroy the camp, right? That's what it said, so. That's a really devastating attack. Like, it took him a while to charge, but then, like, 15 damage. Almost, like, one shot at the dude. You pick that up. That item. Get the potion. Attack. Right, just two more tents left. Nothing in there. And that should be the end of the mission. This thing should update any second. Hmm. Did I miss something? Maybe it's just slow in updating. Oh, this is considered a tent. Okay. It's a bit buggy because the uh, the tent top wasn't showing. No, I should have everything. There we go. Perfect. Interesting mission. It was uh, like they said, crossing the fort it was a pretty bloody mission. So we killed two hundred twenty-eight and we lost seventy-eight. They had uh, one hundred sixty-four uh, human units. And 71 elven units. Gotta stock up on warriors though. Because I did lose quite a few knights. And they're actually quite expensive. But we had 12k. We'll probably get like maybe 5k from this battle. Looting dead bodies. Maybe even more so. Maybe 7.5. And, and then the next battle will be uh, a duel. I think I'll put the duel here in this video as well. And then we'll march towards the camp. Well, first the crossroads, then the duel, then the camp. We'll meet up with our Skaven allies. Even 10k. So not 5, not 7.5, 10. Make camp. So we lost quite a few marauders, which will cost us 800. That's a very affordable. A thousand for the other groups. These guys didn't even lose a unit. These guys lost 10, so that's 2k. These guys are cheaper, so that's 1200, I believe. Yep, there we go. Um, let's march to the crossroads. Let's see what's gonna happen. This guy completely changed. He used to be a human, and now he's, he's literally a demon. A demon prince. The city of Telebium is to the south. Around its walls is gathering a horde. Uh, around its walls is a gathering horde. Around its walls, a gathering horde awaits the arrival of Demon Prince. There we go. Scattered remnants of the Telebeckland army have been seen to the cast and might cause problems if allowed to remain behind Thorgor's advance. Alright, so there's the optional one. We already know who we're going to use for the duel. This guy, he just slaughtered the Elven Prince. Gonna spend the rest points. Um, boy, this guy's combat. This guy will duel. This thing. Kinda wanna read it again. The hero launched a devastating attack, causing up to 15 damage. The damage is higher if the target has low HP. Only usable against heroes with 30% HP or less. But that is technically not really true, because... Oh, there we go. Bonus per level. Plus 10% uh, to the HP limitation. So, um, it was 30%, but now with 5 levels, it's 80%. There we go. 
Do one extra damage, that's nice. Make successful attack, your hero's chance to hit is increased by 5%. Get that as well. Then we have the sorcerer. The sorcerer wasn't really specking command until we had this thing, which I do not really like necessarily. Let's just get this. Or actually, let me get this mist. Wind of death. Alright. And uh, let's jump to the uh, duel. And then our scaven units are right there. Casket. We cannot go here because I, I believe outside Thorgar's camp, I think this is specifically for the Skaven. So after the duel, we will go here. I can try and click on her, but it's not going to do anything. I kind of forgot to read the level name. So even after replenishing our entire army, we even had more surplus of money. 17k right now. It was the same in the uh, Human Empire. At the end of the campaign, we had so much money. We didn't even know what to do with it anymore. Here we go. A brave stand. The survivors of Thorgar's invasion has been gathered under the banner of Count Feyerbach of Telebeck Tele Land, who even now is leading his ragtag army to the defense of Telebeim. That's very honorable, but... <clears throat> Sorry, Thorgar, you're not even the strongest. This guy's better in dueling. Actually, let's check the items that we got. We got a few items here. One armor, 10% HP. Two armor... Cost of sphere, what do we got here? Charge bonus, which is pretty nice. Berserk or sword, chance to hit, 20% attack speed. I prefer the plus one damage, actually. How about the Chaos Sorcerer? He's got nothing. How about Torgar? This thing. Two armor, one armor plus regeneration. I'll give this to my duelist. One armor, 30% ch charge bonus, or two armor. I'll go with a two armor. Let's compare that. Now he has seven, now he has six. How much HP does Thorgar have? I mean, his defense is 11. Yeah, he's got sick loot. Especially this sword. I don't think this hero needs it. He has a healing uh, potion. We have some more. You don't need two, come on, give it, share some. There we go. He needs two. Let's uh, let's fight. Duels are always fun. I don't think I've lost a duel yet. I mean, not in this playthrough, but before? Not really sure. I make sure I always have at least one duel unit, one duel hero. Every Elector Count of the Empire wields a rune fang, a, de a deadly magical sword forged at the birth of the Empire by the dwarf's runesmith, Alaric the Mad. A brave stand. So is this guy using a rune thing? Is he an electric crown? With his ragtag bunch of army. So, he is actually still uh, a count, or he is a count. He's already lost 7 HP. So let's now go with this thing, which can be really fun. Let's see, let's watch. Bam. Wait, did he just... I think he blocked my attack or he like stunned me that's okay he's still gonna go down really quickly though how much damage do I do on him I think I'm doing twos on him even a three there yeah he's done for because I have the skill there's a chance I do one extra damage and then the the, the weapon he's using is also doing one extra damage. There we go. That was easy. Look at him to run. The tide of chaos stretches even further. Yeah, so it does definitely pays off to have at least one dual unit. It's kind of also nice if, uh, like in the previous mission, the prince just goes out of the way. To duel with one of my units. If I want to accept a duel, 
it should always be with the dual is. So now we'll meet up with uh, the Skaven units. Probably a cutscene or at least a conversation between the two, I suppose. Also curious, I think our armies will merge for the final battle. So I got another 2.5k. So yeah, I can't click on it. I can't click on the camp this time. Which I couldn't with the Skaven. I'm actually thinking if there's any Skaven units that I would like to use. Well, the Gracier definitely, but I mean like unit units. will be very useful to me, as will your army. These weak men cannot fight to the front and behind. The attack begins! Kill them all and destroy the city! Roar. <laughs> Alright. First up, we have one more camp. Here our units have not been merged yet. Um, and like I said, I think all we have left is the city of death. Wait. Who do we move? I'm confused. Can we move them to the camp? This army cannot move right now. That's okay, but they're at least in the city. So we have the clan rats, the storm vermin, globadiers, gutter redders, red ogre, giant rats. Let's buy one of them, just so we have all the units. More fire thrower and warp log gazelles. Do we have all our units spent max points? Yeah, I think we do, at least the important ones. Let's switch. Um, you know what, let's go to the temple and let's buy an upgrade for literally everyone. Why? Because we can. It's just one battle left and we have so much gold. Probably not even take all of them, but just buy it anyway. Super cheap anyway. I think the purpose of all this gold is to maybe use this a bit more the blessings. Just buy it for every can I bless my heroes as well? No. It's really just for my units. You check my gold now, it's actually going down really quickly. <clears throat> Into the armory. Maybe I can still buy some banners for some of these units. These guys have banners, these guys have banners. You have a banner now as well. You already have a banner, you have a banner. These guys don't have a banner yet. Is any of my heroes carrying a banner around maybe? So he's the only one that can buy a horse, Kale's steed, which he already has. Alright, that's it for the armory. Uh, the barracks, they don't have new units either. Can buy more blood letters. Don't really need to. Let's check the alchemist quickly. Bane shield, uh, all damages heroes thrown back at the attackers. Oh, 
All right, so almost done here. No interesting items we can buy. So we'll just march one more further to the Telebium outskirts. And then I'll end the video here. And the next video will take down the final battle of the Chaos campaign, really. The villages and farms outlying Telebium have been abandoned and many already lie in ruins. Against the hordes of Forgar, the men of Empire have fled, seeking safety behind the high walls of Telebium. Can we zoom in to see? No, we can't really see it. I don't really see any walls. I mentioned before, this is like if you put a giant wall here, this is like the ultimate defense. These craters will give a good amount of protection. The only way to get through is here. What does it say? Banker Rune? Banker Road. I think it says Banker Road. Alright, anyway. Next video, City of Death. See you guys there. Till then.